Syracuse's west side has been a food desert for a few years now. The former No James supermarket closed its doors back in 2017, and neighbors have had limited options nearby to shop for groceries. That's all going to change next month. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran shows us how the building on Gifford Street will be a market and serve the community once again. There has been a void around 301 Gifford Street in Syracuse. No James was taken out and it left the community down. No James Brothers Supermarket closed in 2017, turning the west side into a food desert. 30% of our neighbors, you know, don't have access to transportation. So they have to walk to get their food. Kevin Frank is the executive director of Brady Faith Center. The organization provides a number of services, including a farm. It plans to open Brady Market in part of the space where No James used to be. You're going to come into the store and you're going to see, you know, healthy and fresh and really great produce. Uh, some of it will come from our Brady farm two miles away, right? So you're not going to get fresher, healthier, better tasting food than, you know, than, than farm fresh food. It won't be a one stop shop, but we'll have grocery staples, including a meat department and hot food section. 16 people from the community have already been hired and it will be more than just a market. We're coming into what we call the healing space. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this space, every worker will have access to a case manager, a mentor, therapy if they choose and learning circles. So all that will happen in this space. No longer a void, the staff have better words. Faith, love, family. I would say love. Hope is the word. To describe what will soon be Brady Market. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. So awesome to see Brady Market expected to open in late April. It costs about one and a half billion dollars being funded through donations and grants.